Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Scott Hennessy. Beth and CJ are on assignment. They've waited since last year and the crowds have come out to one of the highlights of old Spanish days. It's the food and entertainment that blends together at the Mercados. News Channel senior reporter John Palmentary is live. John, the first one open today. You were right there when the grills heated up. Yes, and as the bells ring here at the old mission, that signals Old Spanish Days in its 99th year has arrived and we couldn't wait to come to the mission where we're going to see Fiesta Macania in just two hours. But earlier this day we were downtown and I'll tell you, the Mercado in Delaguerra is the centerpiece of everything that happens downtown during Fiesta. The fabulous foods, the great first class entertainment there and that sense of community that makes up Fiesta 2023. If there's ever a day to eat with a beat, this is it. The opening of the Mercado de la Guerra was a buffet of food booths and spectacular local entertainment served up to the first wave of what could be thousands of visitors in the next four days of Fiesta 2023. Yes, I raced my plaza for my lunch break. <laughs> it's a Santa Barbara tradition for 99 years as part of the annual Old Spanish Days. I love it. I think it shows appreciation to the heritage and the meaning, and it just brings the community together. And um, especially with the crisis right now. Everything here is representing our history, you know, so uh, just coming through here, you get a sense of the history of Santa Barbara. The plaza booths have been redesigned this year with colorful signs and the on the spot kitchens were running hot with orders. We found some big eaters in line. But I had corn on the cob and corn in the cup. And then I went for a torta and then I went for some carnitas tacos and I'm waiting for the taquitos and the guacamole. Holy smokes, it's Viva La Fiesta! And we always get the taquitos, and we always get the churros, but I come for just the ambiance. This is Santa Barbara. An annual favorite is the classic tri-tip torta. Yes, you could crawl into that sucker and sleep the night in a tent, I really think, but I ate it instead. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling in the, in the mood. Some of those who have been coming to the Mercados for years say this is the busiest they have ever seen it on the first day in years. This is impressive. This is probably one of the most energetic, fully attended Mercados this early I've seen in all my time, so it's good stuff. For everything, honestly. It's fiesta, so you know, you can't miss out on this. It's really good, though. You can come for the food or the friends, but many want to support the nonprofits running these booths. Both. I go for the food and make sure that I support that nonprofit with all I can give. And with so many choices, you might want to forget about counting the calories for a few days. You know, it's not spa food though, so we're not here to lose weight today. Yeah, that's the order of the mayor, isn't it? Don't worry about the food or the calories, just consume it and enjoy it. In addition to the Mercado de la Playa uh, at the beach, which goes with the one downtown, we'll have lots of choices. Back here at the old mission, let's take a look around. So many of these people came out this morning to get their spots to get ready for Fiesta Pequena. They're enjoying some good food and picnic items and some of the food that's been prepared here for them. There's gonna be two or 3,000 people. As for me, I'm gonna get set right over here, I think. Looks like all these chairs are going to be filled with dignitaries. A lot of people are going to be sitting on their blankets. They're going to be sitting right here. I think get this great seat and join you at 8 o'clock for our broadcast. So much is going on for Fiesta here and downtown. Don't forget of all the big bands that are going to be on downtown tonight and starting tomorrow at uh, Mercado de la Playa along the beach. Reporting live at the Old Mission this evening, getting ready for Fiesta Pequena, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Right on the spot with perfect timing and the ringing of the mission bells. John, thank you very much. Let's show you the official opening of Fiesta now. John just reported on it 11 a.m. with a ribbon cutting. One, two, three, boom! Yeah. The Here's El Presidente David Bolton with the mayor, Randy Rouse, and the music and everything else in the downtown Mercado de la Guerra Plaza. It's going to be open for four days through Saturday. Food booths run by nonprofits. There will be free entertainment on stage, local dancers, and at night some of the area's top bands that John mentioned. This Mercado has a rich tradition. It goes back to the 1920s during the first Old Spanish Days. Uh, it's a tradition.